purpose because I can't find a place to pull over, so I'm just going to have to do this. I want y'all to look right there, feeding into that storm. Technical term is streamwise vorticity current. It's probably counter rotating, counterclockwise, and it it's got to be what you're looking at. It's got to be over a two mile area feeding back into that storm good look at it yeah that thing's circulating so that's turning counterclockwise feeding back into this supercell you do not get to see one like that that's literally coming off the ground feeding back into the storm Vicky's asking if we're driving right into one well, we were driving out of it until I saw that, uh, like I said, the nickname of it's Beaver's Tail, but what it is, it's uh, streamwise vorticity current coming off the ground. It's cold air off the ground horizontally spinning counterclockwise, feeding back into this big supercell, and that causes it to re-intensify, and the updraft, generally this flat part feeding back into the storm that you can see in front of us gets lifted by the warm air and that's where you have the big EF3s, EF4 and EF5 tornadoes being formed. But see, I've, we've only got three, this will be about third or fourth just absolutely, I wish it was daytime so we could get this. But we got to get out of here. But I'm going to let you have another minute. And actually, it's not you. It's me that wants to see this. That's So look up streamwise vorticity. That is the storm, the cold air from the front of the storm feeding back into the back part. And where that gets lifted vertically back up into the supercell is where you generally see the really, really big tornadoes.